Good morning, mighty man. Remember we spoke here of young James McQuilkin's 1857 prayer meetings in Ireland that sparked a prayer movement? Well, that same year saw revival prayer begin in America, first in Manhattan, then New York, and beyond. And news of that revival reached back to Ulster, Ireland. So they sent several ministers to America to bring back a report. And upon their return, they testified to God's move in the U.S. and it ignited passion for prayer all across Ireland. There's a website called Romans1015.com and uh, that's where I'm reading this following. In March of 1859, McQuilkin and his praying friends organized a prayer meeting at the A.O. Hill Presbyterian Church. Such a large crowd gathered that the building was cleared because the balcony was giving way from the weight of the crowd. Outside in the chilling rain, as a layman preached with great power, hundreds knelt in repentance. This was the first of many movements of mass conviction of sin. Around the Kells area, over 100 separate prayer meetings per week started in homes, schools, barns, and workplaces run by non-pastoral individuals. The revival spread to family by family, village by village, and town by town. The original young converts were instrumental in much of this work in the various towns. Within weeks, 10,000 were converted. Well, James McQuilkin, he did start small, but he wasn't discouraged. And look how that turned out. Zechariah prophesied concerning the rebuilding of the temple by saying this, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hands. That's Zechariah 4.10. Our Bible reading today is 1 Thessalonians, the 4th and 5th chapters. And 4 verse 3 says, For this is the will of God, your sanctification. Okay, men, listen up. That you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. And then verse 15, For this we declare to you by the word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Let's pray. Father, encourage us by your Holy Spirit to not give up when we only see small beginnings of ministry, whether it be in our family, our church, our, our place of employment, our business, or in our neighborhoods. Lord, we pray that you would encourage us to walk in, in purity, to walk in holiness, holiness to, to walk in such a way that the enemy has no accusation that he could bring against us for any sort of immorality in our lives. Lord, encourage us with the knowledge that you're coming back for us, that you're going to actually come back one day and we will meet you in the air and we will always be with you. And Lord, looking forward to that happening, to that event, Lord, give us hope, help us to stand firm and for, for us to be found worthy to be received by you as a bride who is uh, received by the bridegroom. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, follow and share it. Shalom.